Hi, my name is Gloria and I'm getting ready to make a winter salad based on ingredients that are readily available at this time of year. Uh, that includes clementines, the zipper fruit, and beets, uh, which are root vegetables and are very available all year round, but particularly in winter. These are beets that, as they come in the, in the market with, fresh, with the fresh leaves, I have cut these off, a whole other set of beets at the stem, and I've roasted them uh, for about an hour in a 400 degree oven. And I'm putting gloves on now because red beets really stain your hands and I don't want my hands to be red. So here are the red ones. They've been peeled. Um, basically, after you roast them, if you wait a little bit until they cool off, you can sort of just peel the skin off. And anything that's left, I find what's a really good trick is to finish peeling with the back side of the knife, which is softer than even using a paring knife, a sharp paring knife. This side is really softer and it sort of gets the skin off without leaving any striations or any cut marks. So these look like perfectly round beets. They're all shiny and round and just look pretty. It's all an aesthetic thing. It doesn't affect the taste at all. I'm going to cut the beets into wedges. And remember that this is going to be a salad that we're going to compose. In other words, everyone's going to get their own salad. So we try to cut them into bite-sized pieces, although not too small that they look foolish on the plate. Then it shouldn't look like a child's plate. Just put the gloves aside and get to the yellow ones them in half. Now I'm going to peel the clementines, the zipper fruit, so named because you can easily pull off the skin like you're just unzipping them. And they're available all winter and really good. And then just pull off as much of this white pith as possible. You don't have to be crazy about it, just whatever's really sticking out. And cut them into wedges or peel them, separate them into wedges I should say. Okay, now we've got the beets and we've got the clementines in the bowl. The next thing to do is to peel the avocado. This one is already cut, so we just take a knife and peel back the skin. Okay, now I'm gonna take the avocado and I'm just gonna cut it in like one quarter inch slices. Add them to our salad of beets and clementines. You can cut them again, but sometimes it's nicer to leave them larger because when you toss it, it breaks a little bit and when you plate it, it's nicer to have larger pieces. I've pre-washed this mescaline salad and run it through a salad spinner a few times so that all the water is out. If your salad is wet, then the dressing won't stick to it and you'll lose the taste of all the dressing. So this has been very well dried. I'm now pouring it into a larger mixing bowl. This is a lemon vinaigrette that I made with Meyer lemons. A Meyer lemon is a cross between a lemon and an orange, so it has a little stronger citrusy taste, a little sweeter and it's uh, really good with the clementines. So I'm adding just a little bit of dressing to the lettuce. Gonna mix that up gently. I'm gonna put a scoop of, a couple of spoons of salad on the plate. Give that a gentle toss of this and put it in the center of the salad. And then assuming you have asked which of your guests has a nut allergy, you can take some toasted pine nuts. I took these and I put them in a 350 degree uh, toaster oven for just a few minutes. And you have to watch them carefully because there's a lot of fat in them and they burn very quickly and they're expensive nuts so you really don't want to burn them. You can use toasted almonds, toasted walnuts. I do like the pine nuts. And just sprinkle the pine nuts over the top and your salad is done. Now that I've made this fabulous salad and it looks so beautiful, the only normal thing to do would be to taste it. So I'm going to have a beet. Actually, it has some nuts on it. Mmm, fabulous. The beet is like candy. The nuts are crunchy. The Meyer lemon dressing is spectacular.